Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Since Day One. Before we get into this video today about JT from the City Girls, as well as YouTuber Kendall, go ahead and like the video, comment down below, and if you are new, smash that subscribe button to take flight with us. Fake love, I don't need it, you can keep it, that's a fact. I, I had to make up my mind, my mind. You guys ain't know the shade room just posted a post not too long ago about JT from the City Girls having words for a fan, which she's not really even a fan because when I looked her up on Instagram, y'all, she got 1.2 million followers and she has also a large following on YouTube. However, Kendall had called out the City Girls when she made a TikTok video basically saying that she had won free tickets to a City Girls concert that just happened recently, but when she arrived that the tickets were not left at will call. Kendall had explained to us that eventually she received tickets for the lawn section before mentioning that she also saw Young Miami children at the event something that jt from the city girl says she definitely wasn't feeling here are the videos that kendall posted on tiktok what's up tiktok it's kendall the brat before i say any of this i don't want no clout i don't want none of that i just want to let it be known that i feel really tried tonight because the city girls text me i'm gonna put the screenshot right here right here it told me to come to the call box at 7 p.m right so i get there and that person said they don't have my name at all. So I called them. No answer. So at this point, they're on stage, whatever. They perform me, and I still can't get in. But I would have never came if I knew I couldn't get in. Or I would have bought my own ticket online if I knew I couldn't get in. Why tell me to send you my name like I won the giveaway? Right here. And she told me to send the two names. The message is read, hi, we are picking winners for our Good Love giveaway and chose you for two free tickets to see us perform in Miami on October 14th. Please send names we can forward to the will call box at the venue at your earliest convenience. Must have your own transportation to and from the venue. Kendall responded and said, oh my God, thank you so much. The two names are Kendall Sands and Monet Sands. Is there any instructions I should know on how about getting the tickets from the will call box the day of? can't wait super excited they responded and said we'll keep you posted that was all september 22nd you guys on tuesday kendall said hello as far as this friday for the concert is there any instructions i should know they responded wednesday the next day and said hi your tickets will be available at the will call box office after 7 p.m on friday and i did on time but you ain't even much gotta worry about it and i'm sure they don't control it's probably their management team but y'all tried me for real real big what's up tiktok so before i even say something i don't want no clout i don't want none of that off this video but i'm very upset because i came to the city girls thing because they said oh i won the good love giveaway thingy whatever i come all the way up here they tell me oh get me the two names that you need me and my sister name i sent them the names september 22nd here's the messages blah 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 y'all read it pause it whatever so we get here all the way, mind you, matching and all, thinking we finna see somebody, a little exclusive something. We get, so we get to the call booth and they don't know our name. They talk about some, no, we don't see you. I showed them the messages, they still don't know us. So luckily, due to the situation, they gave us two tickets to the lawn. It said lawn 12. So then I ended up seeing Summer and um, what's the other one name? Ja. ja. He waved at me. I wanted to say, baby, could you go get your mother? Because, baby, why am I back here? Like, what was the point of me winning the giveaway? And I just feel like I don't even think it's the city girls because I know when you famous, you probably don't control your page. But her management team, they management team, need to get it together for real because I'm really pissed off. So I really want y'all to tag them. I hope they see this. And I hope it's something that could be explained because I'm really upset and I really don't understand how was my name not on there and y'all told me to send y'all my name? That's real bad. And if y'all don't believe me and think it's a game, I got it on my vlog. So make sure that y'all subscribe. I recorded the lady. I asked her one more time. Do she know our name? We even said Kendall the Brat. Mm-mm. That baby said, uh-uh, baby. We don't know you. <laughs> no, she didn't say it like that. But she was just like, no. 
I don't see your name. We got the supervisor. No. When Kendall took it upon herself to repost that TikTok to her Instagram, you guys, to her 1.2 million followers, is when JT had finally responded. JT said to Kendall, why are you mentioning Young Miami's kids in your lie? Kendall responded and said Young Miami's son walked by the call box with a red jersey on. JT responded and said you did not see her kids in no lawn. Why would he wave at you? Who are you for him to wave at? You didn't get the seats you want. Now you mad. You were in the lawn as you should have been. You trying to go big when this situation could have been an easy fix in the future. You mentioning Young Miami's kids got me real mad. Kendall responded back and said JT I did see her kids. Ask him why TF he waved at me. Who am I? An influencer with the following. Humble yourself. I didn't have any seats at all. Can you hear the video? My name wasn't on the list. So you get your manager together for horrible cooperation. You're mad AF because this is going to blow and you know I'm not a nobody. And then Kendall posted on her Instagram story and said, who am I? Question mark. JT, I'm on y'all page. Humble yourself. I'm definitely somebody, but thanks for the motivation because now I'm going to make sure you know who I am. And she had posted a video that the City Girls had posted of her and this other guy on the City Girls main page. And then Kendall came back with one more video on her TikTok directed at JT, and this is what she had to say. JT, you're older than me, so I'm going to keep it respectful to you because I'm a child. Once again, when we got to the call box, they did not have our names, period. So you're saying that I'm mad because we got the wrong seats? No, I'm mad because we didn't have any seats, actually. They didn't know who we were. They let us in when I showed them the video due to them feeling like, oh, we're just going to get them out of our face and gave us any random tickets. So we did not get in due to the giveaway like y'all told me. Uh, once again, here's the messages. Right here, y'all promised me two tickets. I didn't say that I needed backstage or anything, but my name wasn't on the thing. And I went all the way up there. My sister flew in town for this as well. So we get there and we did see Jaw and Summer. I'm not mentioning her kids in no type of disrespectful way at all. I'm just saying that I seen them and he even waved at me. He was with Tyrus and I even called Maya later like, JT, why are you trying to make it seem like I'm lying, girl? So long, so long. Sleeping from sober to sober. Sleeping from sober to sober. Now I'ma step on these little bitty bitches. Hit some brand new Gucci, low some Gucci walking. I got tired of eating Big Mama's chicken. Now it's business when I want it.